I cried myself to sleep in my solitude. I kept thinking about those sad and frightened eyes staring at me. My name is Renee. They told me that I have to write this diary, but I don't feel like it. It's not true that I feel better when I write. Actually, it's worse. I was a shy girl, and I just wanted to be like the others. But that's not what happened. No. I did things that, when I think about them now, eventually brought me here. Everything started with that damned light. It happened for the first time when I was still a little girl. I was six or seven. I was walking outside school when suddenly the noise started to melt into an indistinct rumble. The light increased out of all proportion and everything lost its meaning. I could no longer recognize anything. Objects, people, words, not even myself. I felt fear as a physical sensation. It prevented me from moving, from swallowing, from breathing. After God knows how long, everything went back to normal. But a new fear replaced the old one, different but terrible, of the light coming back. And it did come back. My memory of those years is hazy. Between the age of about seven and ten, my memories are disconnected, and I couldn't say how many times and how frequently the light used to come. My mother gave me a doll around that time. Charlotte. Thinking back to it makes me want to laugh. But at the beginning, I remembered that I was afraid of her. I thought she wanted to harm me, to kill me and take my place. But when the light came, she would stay beside me, and her presence. Did not disturb me. I was able to talk to her, and so she became my best friend. At least until I was in grade two, when everything changed. She didn't laugh at me. And if I had to say something to my mother, I asked her to say it. When things inside me turned bad, she was the only one I could turn to. Now all of this makes me blush, but Charlotte was a real friend to me. I knew that she was just a doll. I wasn't stupid. But at the same time, she was real, too. I, I don't know how to explain it. It's difficult. My mother would cuddle her and tell her things. I guess she was trying to communicate with me. But back then, I was too afraid to understand it. The grounds at the back of the hospital, and then down to the kitchens.
This is the road we used to take. If it weren't for her, in the grounds on that bench in spring, so many days. It was an escape, watching nature around us as she talked and smiled. And then there were the kitchens. Sometimes we stole food and ran back to the bench to eat it in secret, and we laughed. She did things to me. Sometimes she touched me. In the shower, I felt her body against mine for the first time. It was a shiver that warmed my soul. Eyes closed, the light slipped away. She wasn't in the system. He wouldn't let her in. That's it. She must be the key. The key to my memories. To the reasons why. Nature helped me to forget. To escape from the system. The scent of spring. The land of light was far away, and we spent the days chatting on the stone benches. <laughs>